I'm Augustine from Echo Master. Today I'd like to introduce the GM IntelliHall Towing Assistance Package to you. This kit is compatible with 2015 to 2017 Chevrolet Colorado and GMC Canyon vehicles. This system includes three cameras, side cameras and a wireless trailer camera. A fourth camera that's optional for a front-facing camera is also available. This system integrates with your factory infotainment system by providing three cameras to assist you in towing. It includes side blind spot cameras and a wireless camera system. I'd like to introduce the contents of the package, which includes a switcher module, mounting bracket with hardware, side camera and mirror caps, cab and door side harnesses, power and splitter harnesses, and a wireless camera extension harness. Here we have the wireless camera receiver, the wireless camera for your trailer, installation kit, dashboard installation kit, and manual kit. Today we're also going to show you how to install this system on a Chevrolet Colorado. Let's go! Hello, welcome back. Now we are going to start with the installation of the IntelliHall system. We'll start by removing the dash pieces. You can find all these instructions inside the instruction pamphlets, step by step. First up you want to do, as we've already done here, is grab yourself some protective tape and tape up the dashboard. This will prevent marring during the installation process. From there, you'll use a nylon pry tool. Insert it inside the dash panels. Pry gently all the way around. The dash pieces will be tight. Then it can be removed by tugging straight forward from the dashboard. Once removed, seven millimeter socket for four screws located top and center of the escutcheon. Once the four screws are removed, the unit will unclip from the dashboard. Then the connectors can be disconnected. On this panel, you have the LVDS connectors, the LIN bus connectors, and the HVAC control connectors. Carefully set this piece aside, hold it for later reinstallation. The next step is to remove the glove box. In order to do that, we will remove the two hinge pins with the nylon pry tool. Open the glove box, remove it from its tracks, disconnect the damper, and the glove box can now be removed. Next, we'll remove the door panel. First step for this is to remove the discussion and the screw behind it. Seven millimeter. The next steps for removing the door panel are the two bolts at the bottom of the door panel, seven millimeter. The next step to remove the door panel is to remove the trim piece with the power window switch. Please use caution and tape up the trim pieces to prevent damage. Using a pry tool, insert at this position where the clip is located. Once it's lifted up, the trim piece can be lifted and removed towards the rear. Disconnect the power connector. The next step is to remove the trim piece, which is on this leading edge of the door. After removing the trim piece, there are two bolts in these locations that must be removed. The next step is to release all the clips around the edges of the door and unhook it and lift it away from the door skin. From here, 
we will remove the cables for the door lock and also the electronics for the door lock switch in the front. To prepare the mirror for removal, we'll remove this trim piece. In order to do that, there are two push rivets, which we'll remove first. Once it's removed, this piece will simply peel off. At this point, there are bolts exposed. These will remove the mirror. Before doing so, please disconnect this connector. Support the mirror so it doesn't fall on the ground after all the bolts are loosened. All right, the next step of our installation will include disassembly of the mirror and installing the mirror cap. By looking at your new mirror, you will identify the clip locations. There are three. To access, press the black portion down, insert your pry tool, release the clips, and remove the mirror cap. Okay, to install the mirror cap, we're first going to disconnect the power supply, feed the cable through this hole. We'll take the cable to a zip tie. Then through the looming location, we'll go ahead and feed the uh, cable through there. The cable will re-emerge at this location. that through. We'll tuck the connector inside the hole. Ensure all three clips have, have reattached. You route that cable up along this factory loom, pass through the foam isolator, using a knife, make a relief cut for the Echo Master camera system to pass through. This mirror is now ready for reinstallation. Next step of our installation is to replace and reinstall the exterior mirror. Reconnect the factory power mirror connector. Then we'll begin our looming for reinstalling the harness. 
reconnect the power supply that we previously removed. First step, we're going to remove the speaker. There's a bolt here, then the speaker simply disconnects by unclipping and lifting forward, just connect the connector. Here behind, inside the door jamb, the factory connector needs to be disconnected by lifting the pull tab, then removed. Due to the space constraints in this location, we're not able to show you exactly how to remove it from this location. However, to remove it from the door jamb, lift the orange tab and squeeze the two side connectors together. This will allow it to be removed from the door skin. The next step of the installation is to populate the pins into the connector shell. Carefully remove the weather tight seals from pins 27, 28, 29, and 30. Pin number 27 is for the red lead. Carefully insert the pins straight until they engage. The second pin is black, number 28. The third pin is brown. And the last pin is yellow, pin number 30. Once the door side is done, you're going to want to install the cab side harness. Start with the Molex end with a fish tape through it. Fish it in this direction towards the chassis. It'll go through the door jam boot. Then through the chassis access and exit under the glove box. Once the mirror's been reattached to the vehicle and the garnish has been reinstalled, the next step is to reattach the door panel onto the door skin. Ensure that your harness for the camera system is neatly tied to the power window switch harness. You'll prepare your door cable and your power door lock connector. After the door panel has been reinstalled, door cables reconnected, door locks are working properly, we're going to go ahead and put this garnish piece back on. Simply snaps together. Give a good tug there. Reinstall the window switch. Good to go there. One last piece inside the escutcheon. Now our door's all put back together, mirrors are mounted. We'll go ahead and duplicate this on the other side. In the next step of our installation, we'll be running the harness across the dash. Earlier, we ran this from the door, across the door jam, and under the fuse box. We'll be feeding this cable up the fuse box along the conduit into the glove box cavity, across the glove box cavity, then into the dash cavity. After the cable's been passed to the center console, we're going to run it through this opening here to prepare it to the connection for the main video harness. The next step of our installation process will be installing the wireless camera extension harness. 
We've gone ahead and ran the cable from the dashboard across the glove box down to the kick panel and now with the sill panel and kick plates off, we're going to run this cable under the plastic and then to the rear of the vehicle. To run the cable inside this harness, the top pieces of plastic simply snap off and exposes the conduit. Make sure we go ahead and wipe the window clean, remove the adhesive backing, make the connection to the extension harness cable, and then position the receiver like so. Again, making sure we have no clearance issues with the sliding rear window. Tuck away our connections after they're checked. At this time, we'll mount the module and bracket into the dashboard. There's a tab that resides on the top lip of the rear dashboard. Lift the cables, insert, and is oriented like such. There are two screw locations. Please use the hardware provided. Our next connection point are the LVDS connections. These provide digital video for your infotainment system from our module. The male connector will be connected into the HMI module. The female connector will be connected to the existing connector that was disconnected from the HMI module. And at this time, we'll go ahead and tidy up these cables as well. To continue the installation of your front-facing camera for the IntelliHall system, locate the video connector that you previously ran, locate the camera 4 connector from your IntelliHall system, and make the connection. All other cameras remain the same. Camera one for left, camera two for right, camera three for the wireless trailer camera. After all connections are completed, we're going to go ahead and reinstall the control panel, screen, and HVAC controls back into the dashboard. Simply connect the three connectors that were earlier removed, the T connector from the module, the LVDS connection from the top, then snap the assembly back into the dash. Once that's completed, Locate the four screws or bolts that you previously removed and reinstall. To reinstall the bezel, simply snap it back in place once it's lined up. To reinstall the glove box, first we'll install the damper string Guide the glove box back into its glide slots, close the glove box, and reinsert the two pins at the bottom of the glove box for the hinges. Test the glove box, should open softly, and close securely. All right, now we've got the vehicle all put back together. We'd like to run through a demonstration of all the features of the system. First thing we'd like to show is the factory reverse cameras retained with dynamic parking lines, if so equipped. Everything is fully functional. In the event that you don't have a factory backup camera, one can be added to the system as well. 
through automatic activation, the turn signals will turn on the side view cameras. That is the right camera. By activating the left turn signal, it will turn on the left camera. We can also enter the UI and select one of the four available cameras. We can split screen the left and right cameras. Triple screen the wireless trailer camera and the two side cameras. Or view our forward facing optional camera. Individual cameras may also be selected if desired. If automatic turn signal activation is not desired, this can be turned off as well. Thank you for joining us for this installation video. Hope you enjoy your GM and telehaul system.